Hello, this is Bellman here. This is a test recording for Dungeon Defenders, which is a game we're going to be playing. This is a trial version. This is not the real version. We'll get the real version around Christmas. Hopefully, if Kips kisses his parents. But enough. Hopefully. So, let's get to testing. Click to join. I started playing a little bit of this. There's Bellman. Now this is recordable, as you can tell, but it is very slow, which is irritating, uh, but at most. So yeah, it's gonna be a simple little test recording. Let's see, which map do we start on? Oh, we start in the tavern. Welcome to your adventurer's tavern. Yeah, Here, so. you and your fellow heroes will prepare for battle. Yes, you may yeah. buy and sell goods at the tavern keeper's shop. Test your strength against training dummies, and compare and boast of your accomplishments and your permanently recorded statistics. These accomplishments will also be reflected in various trophies and decorations that will soon come to adorn your tavern walls. But most importantly of all, the tavern enables you to plan your upcoming exploits. By activating the Terrier Crystal, the owner of the tavern can access the mission setup. From there, the owner can access numerous options, including mission modes and difficulty. Choose wisely. While facing more challenging opponents offers great reward, these difficulties will truly test your hero's strength and strategy. Beautiful time since I saw that. And bare skin rug. Can I crouch? Suck one. Okay, I, I, I'm, I should stop doing that. Alright, let me see. Hello, Tavern Keeper! Give me an ale, two pea and coladas, one for each hand, and let me see what you got. I would help you defend the crystal. The Tavern Keeper's oh, shop oh. is stocked with a variety of items that your hero might find Show useful. Me and you weapons. can also sell items to him through your item box. The Tavern Keeper will restock his items mm. after each successful mission. But really if you want him weapon, to hold on to a specific item, you can lock Damn it, it to purchase later. I don't have anything in my unbox, do I? The Tavern nope. Keeper is an excellent huntsman and is skilled at taming some of Etheria's more domesticated creatures. Each type of pet has unique special abilities and a mind of its own, so finding a suitable pet to accompany you on your adventures can make all the difference. The Tavern of the Defenders The Tavern Forge. Keeper also provides services, including Will this guy ever shut up? specializing I'm, I'm your hero this. statistics, Will he ever renaming shut up? your hero, and providing an experience point bonus. Watch out, these can be expensive. As you complete more difficult missions, the Tavern Keeper may find ever more rare items and pets. Be sure to check back frequently to see what he's got for sale. Will do, once I get the money. But then again, I didn't really do good in the first mission, but that's because, um, I don't know how to fight ogres yet. Uh, is that... Is he face palming himself? I can't tell. It looked like he was going through a portal, he's like, oh, face palm himself, huh? Never keep. Pictures. Alright, then that seems like... A reasonable test. Let's test out the voices and everything. There's a dragon's head. So let me look at that dragon's head. Pretty good looking dragon, I have to say, but um Judging by the size of that head, that was not a very big dragon. That already had a very small head. Uh I say it's about let's see here. Dragon's head, body. See, that's probably about the distance off, so... Uh, not a very big dragon. Hell, Ballard Man takes down Draco, and Draco's like freaking 20 feet tall. I swear to God. I just know he's 25 feet tall, never mind. Draco's freaking huge. D Ballard Man's the size of his paw. So, really, in comparison, that's uh, it's like an adolescent dragon right there. Just got his new horns. Also, you don't have horns like that. Anyways. Here's my Antonia crystal. My statistics. Let's see, can't be best time, best of wave, invincible, do not take damage for an entire wave after the first. Nighttime 3, killed 
Ten enemies in five seconds. I've gotten that three times. That's on medium mode. Well, no wonder I was game. Oh, because that's all I wanted to choose. So the only one I can do. Probably. Anyways, that should be good enough for test. Uh, yeah. So testing, testing, one, two, three. 